Okay, the last and interesting connector is wheel suspension. And at the end, I explain the fix is very easy. <clears throat> Let's explain the fix first and then go to the wheel suspension. If you play it, it is in a wheel suspension. As you can see, it is interesting. And after that, a ball will be hit. It's act like a car suspension. Interesting. The fix is very easy. For example, we have a street called dynamic object here. I uh, insert it there, increase the segment. Imagine we have two of them, like three of them, like this. If you assign all of them a bullet rigid body tag, as you can see, they are falling down. But if you want, for example, oh, they are far from each other. If you, for example, want to these two objects connecting to each other, you can use a connector fix to that simulation bullet connector. You can go in between them to better understand it. This is our connector to the display. You can set it as a fixed and a fix this sphere to the data sphere. And don't forget to change the center of that. Make a child, I said, explain it before, make it child and reset it. Okay, the, uh, then going like this and just play it. As you can see, these two objects are fixed together as you can see they are moving to each other this is just a fixed and let's go to our wheel suspension <clears throat> how to make something like this okay i disconnect uh this null thing yeah i copy that and bring it there to explain it separately. As you can see, this is our car suspension. Select the connector and display always. Look at this. Boom, it's act like this, nice. <clears throat> so let's make it from scratch to understand it. Nice. This is of null, you can bring it there to better understand and you can close it. This is our car. It's very simple. This is some cube that I connect them and make them child of the null. Okay, as you can see, if you split, it, uh, these are two rigid body objects that we have this tag here, two rigid body, the color. This is on top, this is on bottom object, B. You can take bottom object. <clears throat> it's very important to renaming. It's a top object, and both of them are going under the null to clean the scene. So we want to simulate that spring uh, behavior for car wheel suspension. Go to the wheel and connector. Bring the connector under the null between them. The hierarchy not important, but for organizing the scene, I like that. So go to the connector, you can make it all with the scene, go to the object and make the wheel suspension. And as you can see, the visual uh, display of that is the two objects that this wheel can be rotate because it's a wheel. Uh, if I bring this down and make it like this, as you can see, their wheel are rotating and this will be uh, moving because this wheel suspension uh, make from this spring here and the hinge co connector is and the slider of course so it creates from three connector nice okay go to this connector from here make it back it's a brakes for that car. Go to that connector and go to the display, make it smaller. Nice. And <clears throat> the center axis of this is very important. Yeah, you can make exactly this center, make it a child, 
reset transforms go exactly to that position and this alignment is very important and of course like before you can limit the upper limit the like this nice i like that limit that nice i don't want to spring more that limiter so don't forget to make them release from this top and now this important part the object a has to be assigned to the top object click and drag it and the object b have to assign it to the bottom and it will be nice i think oh i think in this case because we if you uh not approach it to go to something uh, it's face issues for like this because it's rotate the this connector is rotate because we align it to the this so in this case is not important if you face some this issue uh replace them object b go to the top and object a button and now it will be correct nice as you can see boom we have our our, our spring behavior okay nice it's it's now correct okay you learn it it's very easy and here you can see it's better if you turn this or oh, turn this on always on and as you can see if you bring it there i connect this to the top and this to the bottom the spring is here you can now as you can see the spring act like this nice we have a car wheel suspension and of course uh, this wheel as you can see if we make it like it will be rotate because we have a also a hinge direction here and we have a slider so the wheel suspension is mixed by three connector that you learned before nice okay hello my friends to continue these tutorials on youtube subscribe us like us and hit the bell icon and now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release